something. Kelly won't be no long thing. Pulling up my phone, no stalling. Hustling and jogging to the morning. Till the sun goes down and comes back. Never had to worry, never had to give a fuck. To my life, my life got a soft spot. Sweet way back, so way back, yeah, struck. We came from nothing to something. Gally want me, no long thing Yeah, she's calling up my phone, no stalling But I be hustling and jogging till the morning Till the sun goes down and comes back up I never had to worry, never had to give a fuck Now you walk to my life, everything's got to stop So the sweet boy flex or a man gets dropped Man gets dropped I be thinking about me and you Going to our place, flying to a different kind of space One, two, bop with an elegant mate Yes, we don't run, but we still get chased Federali on me, nah, nah In a tinted whip or a black sports car Take you to a place like a foreign bar Where we say all out or go turn tart Cause I'm a hustler, baby You can catch me on my J's, no hustle, lady I'm just tryna stack more With a queen like you Without a black jack, ain't crazy Are you feeling me or nah? Are you talking all the talk? Put your money where your mouth is I put my money in the right place We came from nothing to something Gally want me, no long thing Yeah, she's calling up my phone, no stalling But I be hustling and jogging till the morning Till the sun goes down and comes back up I never had to worry, never had to give a fuck Now you all to my life, everything's got to stop So the sweet boy flex or a man gets dropped Man gets dropped Listen, it's three cold digits Y'all love me and we spin like fidgets Every girl won't work off of me When I touch roads, then I touch up on me I'm, 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 I'm slick with it A bit of roll, but you know I'm lid with it Your gally wants me, I'm would mm for it So keep talking tough and take mm for that car Drico Ditch got the honeys Drico Ditch got the mummies Ringing up my line The catties them want me But they can't pay for the grubby Man they ain't hungry Pull up my line But come with my money Dial up ones Check the charts real quick So the streets them love me We came from nothing to something Gally want me, no long thing Yeah, she's calling up my phone, no stalling But I be hustling and jogging till the morning Till the sun goes down and comes back up I never had to worry, never had to give a fuck Now you all to my life, everything's got to stop So a sweet boy flex or a man gets dropped Man gets dropped Man gets dropped If you're having credit problems, I feel bad for you, son. A thousand problems, but a car rank one. Wills for sure got me back in the car. Leasing with my credit, I was like, oh man, forget it. Who would have thought I'd be accepted and more? But now I got the keys, I feel so pleased. All types of cars, Fiat's, Minis, Renaults, you know, boom, boom, let's go. Wills for sure, car leasing for every credit score. If you're having credit problems, I feel bad for you, son. A thousand problems, but a car rank one. Wills for sure got me back in the car. Leasing with my credit, I was like, ah oh, man, forget it. Who would have thought I'd be accepted and more? But now I got the keys, I feel so pleased. All types of cars, Fiat's, Minis, Renaults, you know, boom, boom, let's go. Wills for sure, car leasing for every credit score. If you're having credit problems, I feel bad for you, son. A thousand problems, but a car rank one. Wills for sure got me back in the car. Leasing with my credit, I was like, ah oh, man, forget it. Who would have thought I'd be accepted and more? But now I got the keys, I feel so pleased. All types of cars, Fiat's, Minis, Renaults, you know, boom, boom, let's go. Wills for sure, car leasing for every credit score. All the baby where they broke me at Where don't make me feel it say. I'm not man enough I know gets nothing for offer So all me party when look down on me Where don't make me feel it say. My life no go become something yeah. And they walked away All the people will promise for help me They say come office today Tomorrow next tomorrow 
The story not just the same But I refuse to give up I kept on hoping I kept believing Now everything don't change Welcome to Lifestyle Bids, a luxury reverse auctions website where luxury is bought at a price you decide. Sign up free via your Facebook account or email. You receive 50 free bids as sign up bonus. How do these bids work? Log in to Lifestyle Bids and choose your auction room from sports to fashion to luxury cars. Pay an entry fee to start bidding in an auction room. You receive 10 free bids per day for the duration of the auctions. 7 days equals 70 bids. When the auction ends, the lowest unique bidder wins. What is lowest unique? Each bid you place will instantly be unique, not unique or lowest unique. The lowest unique is a bid which is lowest and a number that no one else has bid on. If your bid is lowest unique and someone else bids on the same number, it becomes not unique. Bid daily to improve your chances of becoming the lowest unique bidder. At the end of the auctions, the bidder with the lowest unique bid wins the lot. Winners are notified by email. So, Nikki, you're a winner. Yeah, I've won three times now. Wow. Is that all through Lifestyle Bids, right? That's right. So, first, I won the Music Awards, which was in London. Then I won the Box and Mattress in Cardiff. All I had to do was bid 83 pence for that. And then the Music Festival, which was in California. And the Private Jet? Yeah, maybe three made from that too. So I think it's definitely safe to say that Lifestyle Bids works for you. Oh yeah, Lifestyle Bids definitely works for me. So don't just dream it, bid it. Go to lifestylebids.com and let the adventure begin. Samadol, not to food for eat. Alcohol, not to juice. Dicey pan. For sleep, uh -huh. jamba no fit you, no smoker. Exclusive from the community. I said, 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 I Make me feel like say I'm not man enough. I no get nothing for offer. So all me party when look down on me. Where don't make me feel like say my life no good become something. And they walked away. All the people will promise for help me. They say come office today. Tomorrow next tomorrow. The story not just the same, but I refuse to give up. I kept on hoping. I kept believing, now everything don't change Me brother see me life now, it don't get better now Where must I the name now? You know go beat say, you know no me now Anytime I like a flight to Dubai now Hey, with me baby now Anything I like that they buy now Turn up, cause me I let they turn down I let they run down I'm looking forward To a brighter future I'm moving ahead I need a stop for nothing I'm looking forward To a brighter future I'm moving ahead I need a stop for nothing For this one way we did People go come inside you like Some go come for stay and some go come and go The easy why so man go stay Now only God know The easy why so man go go 
I call this a no Me brother, me I don't go regret If you decide for go It happened for a reason Now only God know What you get for no say It's never the end Cause the downfall of the man no Not to the end of the life I know they give up I know they turn down Every day and they turn up See me fall out, it pop up Where was that the name now? You know what say, you know know me now Now me son is got to the party now Even you baby, they call it now Just now me, they make all man, they study now Two next from the beats now You people just they grace, just they dance now I'm looking forward to a brighter future. I'm moving ahead. I need a stop for nothing. I'm looking forward to a brighter future. I'm moving ahead. I need a stop for nothing. I'm looking forward to a brighter future. I'm moving ahead. I need a stop for nothing. Into a different kind of space One, two, but with an elegant mate Yes, we don't run, but we still get chased Federali on me, nah, nah In a tinted whip or a black sports car Take you to a place like a foreign bar Where we say all out or go turn tart Cause I'm a hustler, baby You can catch me on my J's, no hard slate I'm just trying to stack more With a queen like you Without a black jack, ain't crazy Are you feeling me or nah? Are you talking all the talk? Put your money where your mouth is I put my money in the right place We came from nothing to something Gally want me, no long thing Yeah, she's calling up my phone, no stalling But I be hustling and jogging till the morning Till the sun goes down and comes back up I never had to worry, never had to give a fuck Now you all in my life, everything's got to stop So a sweet boy flex or my mind gets dropped Mind gets dropped Listen, it's three cold digits Y'all love me and we spin like fidgets Every girl won't work off of me When I touch roads, them I touch up on me I'm, 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 I'm slick with it A bit of roll, but you know I'm lid with it Your gally wants me, I'm with mm for it So keep talking tough and take mm for that car Drico Dig got the honeys Drico Dig got the mummies Ringing up my line The catties them want me But they can't pay for the grubby Man, they ain't hungry Pull up my line But come with my money Dial up once Check the charts real quick So the streets them love me We came from nothing to something Gally want me, no long thing Yeah, she's calling up my phone, no stalling But I be hustling and jogging till the morning Till the sun goes down and comes back up I never had to worry, never had to give a fuck Now you all in my life, everything's got to stop So a sweet boy flex or a man gets dropped Man gets dropped Man gets dropped If you having credit problems, I feel bad for you, son. A thousand problems, but a car rank one. 
wheels for sure Got me back in the car Leasing with my credit I was like, ah oh, man, forget it Who would've thought I'd be accepted and more But now I got the keys I feel so pleased All types of cars Fiat, Linnies, Renaults You know, boom, boom, let's go Wheels for sure Car leasing for every credit score So, Nikki, you're a winner. Yeah, I've won three times now. Wow. Is that all through Lifestyle Bids, right? That's right. So, first, I won the Music Awards, which was in London. Then, I won the Boxing Match, which was in Cardiff. All I had to do was bid 83 pence for that. And then the Music Festival, which was in California. And the Private Jet? Yeah, made me three minutes on that, too. So, I think it's definitely safe to say that Lifestyle Bids works for you. Oh, yeah, Lifestyle Bids definitely works for me. So, don't just dream it. Bid it. Go to lifestylebids.com and let the adventure begin. Yeah, Sean, come up. Five seconds, Oli. I shall. Oli, you're on first. And. Oh, God, I look like a granny. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello, good afternoon, good evening, guys and girls, kings and queens. My name is Olivette. And you're here with me on Diaspora Voices Team Talk. As I say, no um, topic is um, should be um, not explained. Everyone should just have the voice to talk. So um, today I've got a very special guest. Actually, before I actually introduce the guest, I would just like to open up a question to you guys. How much of you lot actually consider yourselves are very um, athletic? You lot are very sporty. How much you lot can actually say you go to the gym? you have a hobby you actually go swimming or you run or you play football or you do hockey or you do tennis so please call in and let me know what type of sports and exercise that you guys do because i think today's topic will be very interesting to actually see how much Sierra Leoneans actually get up their backside and do exercise because Sierra Leoneans you don't have to eat too much good food too much food too, too much bitter leaf to do cassada leaf and and rice yeah so contact me on 079-4614-1369. I know the Sierra Leone men, they love their women with meat. But remember, your health comes first before you start eating the pamine, the um, okra, the um, jollof rice, the oil. Eh? Salon with a big cook oil. That's one thing I know. <laughs> yeah. So let's um, come to today's topic, which is actually in connection with this. I am joined here by the beautiful stunning like i'm like aisha like <laughs> really she's you know the um the founder of legend fc legends fc that's a woman's football club male, male well male. it's a male as well it's a male it's oh it's a male football club actually yeah. owned by a woman yes mm -hmm. so how about that so if you guys as well know about this football club, which is based in both London and Sierra Leone? Just in, just in Sierra Leone. Just in Leone. Sierra Leone. Okay. So in Sierra Leone, so could you not please, like, call in? Let's have a conversation about it. We'll show your appreciation as well. So I'm joined here by Aisha. Aisha, so just tell them a little bit about yourself and just your background. Just let okay. us know what, where you're from, you know, what do you like to do? Your hobbies and actually what made you come into okay. the sports? Well, my name is Aisha um, Mela Kamara and I am from Sierra Leone, born in Sierra Leone. Um, I came to the UK when I was four years old and my dad was over here and uh, my mother, two mums, I'll say my second mum was here as well, so I came in to stay with them. Um, I grew up in South London, um, Peckham precisely. Um, went to primary school, secondary school in South London, and then we moved from London, we went to live in Milton Keynes, did college there, then went to university in Portsmouth. Um, I studied architecture. Um, I did my, I've done my undergrad there, and I've done my master's there, and I'm currently working in um, London in an architectural firm at the moment. Um, I went back to Sierra Leone for the first time from moving here when I was four 
about when I was 18 and it was amazing so I think ever since then I kind of try and go there once a year um, mainly maybe probably mostly in December December um, you see this is what I want to know okay what is it about going to Seven in December it's a lot a, of people are like oh yeah I'm going to go to December so what is it about going to Seven in December I heard that it's crowded though it's and not so over traffic that's it's, what I heard it's it's crowded because this crowded but I don't think it's because of those from us can't go into Sierra Leone yeah. because we don't really go to the market or mm-hmm. you know we it's more like the if you go with your kids you're not taking your kids to mm-hmm. a bachelor or mm-hmm. all of those places so I think it's just because it's that kind of you know holiday season everyone is trying to hustle yeah so that's why it kind of seems as if it's it's crowded like i've been to a bachelor before and to do shopping like just to go and buy a few food things or whatever mm-hmm. and it's crazy it's crazy 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 but it's not like when you go to like lumley lumley does get overcrowded during specific um like during the holiday season it does get overcrowded because no one's traveling to um say like river river number two or Lacar or anything, you know, it's easier for them to like, just go to Aberdeen or go to Lumley, okay. and but it does get crowded in Lumley, but it's a good, it's a good overcrowd. It's not like a okay. bad, it's not a bad overcrowd. Right. But yeah, Sierra Leone is just Sierra Leone. It's just like you just you just relax and yeah, you know. So what made you get into like the sports side? Um, I'll say in, initially, it's, I'll say it's genetics because my dad plays sports. Okay. He's a sportsman. Um, they call him TYT, so that means basically touch your toes. So he was always his friends always used to say he, he would stretch. Mm-hmm. So that's the kind of nickname for him. And I think then I think I just started playing when I was younger in primary school. Um, growing up where I grew up, I had like a, a adventure park. So I kind of always used to go there, play football with the boys, play football at school. And then initially playing, 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 and then I kind of attended certain. Um, Football camps, say for the Millwall, okay. like summer holiday, like, you know, like Easter holidays, summer yeah. holidays. Um, got scouted there, and then just started training with them, and it's just ever just been part of my say life since I was small. Boy, Joe. <laughs> My apologies for the um, breakage and the sounding of the radio station right now because it's a bit like peaky peaking. But we're going to go on a break and then I'll call you back. <laughs> then I'll come back. Sorry. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Huh? That was good. What? The whole segment. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call you back. Yeah. We're live on this. If you have a credit problem, I feel bad. I mean, you yeah. leave me on air. <laughs> For you, son, a thousand problems, but a car ain't one. Wills for sure got me back in the car. Lisa, with my credit, I was like, ah, oh, man, forget it. Who would have thought I'd be accepted and more? But now I got the keys, I feel so pleased. All types of cars, Fiat's, Minis, Renaults, you know, boom, boom, let's go. Wills for sure, car leasing for every credit score. So, Nikki, you're a winner? Yeah, I've won three times now. Wow. Is that all through Lifestyle Bids, right? That's right. So, first, I won the Music Awards, which was in London. Then I won the Box and Match, which was in Cardiff. All I had to do was bid 83 pence for that. And then the Music Festival, which was in California. And the Private Jet? Yeah, maybe three made on that too. So, I think it's definitely safe to say that Lifestyle Bids works for you. Oh, yeah, Lifestyle Bids definitely works for me. So, don't just dream it. Bid it. Go to lifestylebids.com and let the adventure begin. Welcome to Lifestyle Bids, a luxury reverse auctions website where luxury is bought at a price you decide. Sign up free via your Facebook account or email. You receive 50 free bids as sign up bonus. How do these bids work? Log in to Lifestyle Bids and choose your auction room from sports to fashion to luxury cars. Pay an entry fee to start bidding in an auction room. You receive 10 free bids per day for the duration of the auctions. Seven days equals 70 bids. When the auction ends, the lowest unique bidder wins. What is lowest unique? Each bid you place will instantly be unique, not unique or lowest unique. 
The lowest unique is a bid which is lowest and a number that no one else has bid on. If your bid is lowest unique and someone else bids on the same number, it becomes not unique. Bid daily to improve your chances of becoming the lowest unique bidder. At the end of the auctions, the bidder with the lowest unique bid wins the lot. Winners are notified by email. So, Nikki, you're a winner. Yeah, I've won three times now. Wow. Is that all through Lifestyle Bids, right? That's right. So, first, I won the Music Awards, which was in London. Then I won the Boxing Match, which was in Cardiff. All I had to do was bid 83 pence for that. And then the Music Festival, which was in California. And the Private Jet? Yeah, maybe three made from that, too. So, I think it's definitely safe to say that Lifestyle Bids works for you. Oh, yeah, Lifestyle Bids definitely works for me. So, don't just... I'm all about paper, you know what I'm talking about. I'm all about moolah, you know what I'm talking about. Working so hard, we don't get so play. From day, let we celebrate. Yeah. Never go wrong if you know the ones that's loyal and said you can get a play. Sit it on the table, never knew. Uh. At the age that I be selling weight. Uh. Come across a thought to one for this, quick for separate and just tell I'm waiting. Wait. Straight facts, anytime I rap. Uh. Hope my words all resonate. Yeah. Smoke up the blunt and I levitate. Uh. As I get in my zone and I meditate. Uh. Started from the bottom, really suffered. Now it's time, sucker, let me elevate. Uh. I know them haters know I'm on the way. Bitch, don't kill my vibe, cause I let the way. I know them hating rappers bitching Cause I be in the strip pitching Never relax till I'm itching Fuck a hand out cause the shit wasn't given I'm that nigga that was shipped home for a decade Came back with ambition In the kitchen watch it Billy whipping Never knew my cousin had a chopper with him See some niggas moving washed up Looking like they lacking wisdom Gelada got me kinda buzzed up With the others away then cling it them rappers when I do that crowd talk But on the real, y'all ain't living lit Got your favorite chick moving like a bee From the minute that she see the clips No trash talk, all I spit is hits Just left the club and was feeling lit Going ham like when I'm beating it The plug waiting so I need to flip At 25, couple bags came Nothing changed cause still I ain't made it yet Baby, this my say shop and it Cause my swag already made it wet Action man it into making threats You can keep the bitch, I'm tryna take the checks I got workers on the pay respect Don't bother talking, nigga save your breath, looking like I need to take a rest. Give thanks to God and I pray bless. Me and this gift as I stay dead, trying to make it out of sacred ends. I got money in my mind, money in my mind every day. So I'm out here chasing paper, cause I hustle every day. I'm all about paper, you know what I'm talking about. I'm all about moolah, you know what I'm talking about. I got money in my mind, money in my mind every day. So I'm out here chasing paper Cause I hustle every day I'm all about paper, you know what I'm talking about I'm all about moolah, yeah. you know what I'm talking about Now me one green me want green no more Cause do that they flow like me They roll like me Perform like me Now me want green no more Niggas mad cause I'm taking them down Niggas stay with the frown I stay with the crown Yeah I flow like the ocean Making them drown So they can't be heard They making a sound High hitter I'm getting high hitters If you ain't talking about moolah Then buy letters Ask about me I've been grinding Dream chasing Been shining Day one nigga, been a heavyweight rapper since day one nigga. One day I'ma make it with my day one niggas. I got money on my mind, money on my mind every day. So I'm out here chasing paper, cause I hustle every day. I'm all about paper, you know what I'm talking about. I'm all about moolah, you know what I'm talking about. I got money on my mind, money on my mind every day. So I'm out here chasing paper, cause I hustle every day. I'm all about paper, you know what I'm talking about. I'm all about moolah, you know what I'm talking about.
We came from nothing to something. Me and you going to our place, flying to a different kind of space. One, two, but with an elegant mate. Yes, we don't run, but we still get chased. Federally on me, no, no. In a tinted whip or a black sports car. Take you to a place like a foreign bar where we say all out or go to and Cause I'm a hustler, baby. You can catch me on my J's, no hustle, lady. I'm just trying to stack more with a queen like you. With a black jack, ain't crazy. Are you feeling me or not? Are you talking all the talk? Put your money where your mouth is I put my money in the right place We came from nothing to something Gally want me no long thing Yeah she's calling up my phone no stalling But I be hustling and jogging till the morning Till the sun goes down and comes back up I never had to worry, never had to give a fuck Now you walked in my life, everything's got stop. So a sweet boy flex or a man gets dropped Man gets dropped Listen, it's three cold digits Yeah I love me, I'm gonna spin like fidgets Every girl wanna work out for me When I touch roll, then I touch up on me I'm, 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 I'm slick with it A bit of a roll, but you know I'm lit with it Yeah, Gally yeah, wants me, I'm with mm for it So keep talking tough and take mm for that Come, three cold digits, got the honey Three cold digits, got the mummy Bringing up my plan The cat is them want me But they can't pay for the grubby Man, they ain't hungry All up my line But I come with my money Dial up once Check the chance real quick So the streets, them love me We came from nothing to something Gally want me yeah, she's pulling up my phone, no stalling But I'll be hustling and jogging till the morning Till the sun goes down and comes back up I never had to worry, never had to give a fuck Now you all take my life, everything's got stuff So a sweet boy flex, so my mind gets dropped No. Hello, welcome back to the Aspire Voices with my with me, Oliver Takar on Team Talk. And I'm joined by the lovely Aisha Kamara. Yeah, it's Kamara. Yes, it is. It's easy, Aisha Kamara, who is um, currently the owner, entrepreneur, superstar of her own football. In Sierra Leone, so we was um, just discussing about um, your journey and the reasons why you um, have, you know, decided to, we didn't actually finish the reasons why you've actually decided to do football. But you did say that you have you've been into sports ever since when you was young. You've come here from when you were four years old. You lived with, you know, your mum, the second mum, and your dad. So you've had the opportunity of kind of both worlds. And then since you've tasted the water. Of Sierra Leone when you was 18, it's like every year you have to go back because that's the place to be, which I totally agree with. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah. place to be. So, um, what made the you know, just kind of explain to us what made you say, you know what, I want to do a football team? And you didn't actually, my things that I thought, I actually thought when I was talking to you, you know, all the other sort of team, I didn't mm. think it was yeah, yeah. a boy, it's because yeah. you're a woman. So, what made you? So I think with the, in terms of like the women's side of things quickly is, is I think in Sierra Leone there are women players, but it's very, very difficult mm -hmm. in terms of like the resources and you have to put more effort into, you know, trying to attract mm -hmm. girls to play football with that stigma. Mm -hmm. Army. Okay. Um, so she was based in she's based in Wilberforce Barracks. So 
there you have like so many kids that mm. just love that and Serian, they love football. It's like a religion out there. So it's very it was very easy to kind of like meet young young boys that were interested in football. I'm a fit a woman that plays football as well. Okay. So there was like there was an easy kind of um coming together yeah. per se. So I think initially my first attempt didn't really work out because I was at that time I was at, at uni. So obviously funds and things like that, you're not working. So normally when footballers, football teams see you or like young men or boys, they will approach you because they know you're from overseas. They'll think that maybe you have the money to be spending on football teams and things like that. So I had um, a group of guys, I think, that came to me initially. Once they, like, they were like, oh, we're going to name our football team after you. I was like, okay, okay, that's fine. But then, you know, they're expecting mm-hmm. something up in the offer. So Funding. Exactly. So yeah. that was a bit, that was the next, I would say the experience, but it was just like a learning curve mm-hmm. thing. Mm-hmm. So I think, obviously, when now I'm finished with uni, I'm working a bit more now. So I went back against Sierra Leone. And it was initially my, my cousin and his friends that had a team. And they had called it Legend FC. And they came to me and said, oh, I'm sure you know we need them. We just want you to support, help, just train us, you know, we just we need a coach whilst you're, whilst you're here for December, just train us, you know, be coaching us. So I kind of just, just kind of just flowed in together, you know, these boys mm-hmm. in the barracks, they're all friends, and it just gradually grew and grew and grew, then just, just gained more interest from in the kids, it was consistent, I think that was a good thing. Um, it was an issue where when I had to come back, you know, having to, they had to kind of like keep themselves to themselves yeah. and train each other or whatever. So then eventually I was able to get a coach, Coach Bello, um, who's in the army as well, who came in and helped coach the boys. And then before him, there was um, one of the players, Mario, who kind of like just went into the forefront and was like, okay, you know what, whilst Aisha's in the UK and she's only coming in December, I'll kind of take over the boys and things like that. So it's just gradually grown year by year year by year and I think so was, how many people have you got currently in your team i would um, say i would say i'll probably have maybe like 80 players 80 to 100 players that's and good. that's ranging from say under nines Lovely. up until we have like under nines under 12 under 14 and then we have like senior mm-hmm. the senior team so could you just let them know where they can find when obviously people are looking to go and to for the kids mm-hmm. to play football and especially obviously a lot of people will be going to set on Christmas yeah. so where would they be able to locate this and would it be available one more period of time is the classes available because obviously it's Christmas period yeah, yeah. so um, the club is actually is located in the western area so it's in literally Wilberforce Barracks mm-hmm. so there's a, a football pitch called the hockey pitch okay. it's not used for hockey it's used for um, football and where they do like the presidential parades and things okay. like that so um, yeah you can they train each team Monday to Friday mm-hmm. um, so if anyone is going there and they have their kids going that they want to mm-hmm. play and experience you know it's not a grass pitch so you know they shouldn't they don't expect they're going to go and meet a grass field but it's, it's a great experience you know to play with other kids mm. in the area mm. and just to have fun um i will we'll probably like do a few tournaments do the seven aside tournaments so if anyone's interested i can leave my details yeah. um because i'll be there hopefully i will be there in december and you know, they can just contact me and then just come through or come to watch games because is there a fee it's free. Okay, it's free. Just, just if you just, if you want to come, just come through, and then we'll just organize training sessions, really, and that'll be good. So you lot heard. So if you're going into Sam Leon, especially, and I think it's a good <coughs> thing that you've actually come on to, because obviously a lot of these young children when they go to say, Africa, you know, they go to Sam Leon, like they get bored. Yeah, and it's us, yeah. the adults that are like, we want, we're f- like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, exactly. Gone. But they get bored, and if and obviously us Sam Leon, we know with that tourist attraction, we can into geek out yeah. and know because it's not really in our face yeah so this is actually a tourist attraction yeah. for the young kids it's something for the young kids to do yeah. so when you're going in you know that your child is interested in football pack their football boots inside your suitcase yeah wrap it up in a bag and pack it and let them go and play football and that also um, allows them to in tune with their culture That's their it. identity and That's other it. young people because football is a football has no language exactly, exactly. you know everyone is into football no matter what it has no language and one is it's a sport where it's played by many and all exactly and it's, you know and it's come it's so popular 
people die and die for football. The way how, so, how the way how some people are with football. <laughs> if you had so much passion the way you were with football in your marriage, in your job, things were lost. Hey, <laughs> by now, and if they ever paid you for football, things were lost. You'd be rich. <laughs> The way men will kill person, even women will kill somebody no. just for football. One football. Football in Sierra Leone, <laughs> especially now that the Premier League and things like that are kind of kicking off and everything. It is crazy in Sierra Leone. Mm. Crazy. Yeah. Like the, the the attention and the, in, the interest from people. Yeah. Like now, literally, every single boy in Sierra Leone wants to play football. That is That is just their path, you know? So... And have you got any? Do you have anybody sponsoring you guys that like, with the footballs, with the uh, with the um, shoes and things like that? Um, in terms of like financial, say financial sponsorship, I kind of like fund everything myself. Mm-hmm. But in terms of, I, I I have friends like football friends mm-hmm. and things like that that have boots, that have donated boots. I have I used to play for um, Crystal Palace, and I have friends from there that donated like the club itself donated like a, a kit that i was able to mm-hmm. ship over like two years in a row i have players donating boots um friends donating boots that they're no longer mm-hmm. using so in terms of like support the support is there but in terms of like f- we're, we're trying to find a sponsor now like an actual sponsor mm-hmm. that will kind of financially sub- um, sponsor the team more in terms of the senior players going into division two okay. and things like that with travel and you know trying to support them a little bit kind of give them some kind of you know funding type of thing um because they're trying to see that as a career yeah. so in terms of like financial sponsorships we're still looking to kind of yeah. get together that type of thing so you have any sponsors out there fifa fifa <laughs> fifa you know mm-hmm. she's doing an amazing job and you know she's going out there doing something different yes she's a woman and she's training footballers but also she has a team around her who are male predominant yeah. and who love the sport. And I think it is for a good cause. And I think, like what I say, football has no language. So it definitely doesn't let's matter. work together in supporting and making the dream happen because Sierra Leone, we've got so many talented people in Sierra Leone. Why not use it and resource it? And then we will, you know, play in Sierra Leone. So I think that's good. Good. Yeah, I think I think that is good. Right then, so we're gonna go on a break, and I'll see you back in a moment. She said she want fit climb on me Me grip is so tight, she not fit drop So I say, sweetie, come see me, see me Now she telling me she wants me and needs me Yeah, yeah, yeah. She threaten me no sharing Cause she too feisty and greedy Come play yeah, all day yeah. My pretty little brown skin Give me ten minutes, she said, yeah, she's counting Carried her back, that's coming like a mountain Rose crumbling on the wine I said, fix up, oh, that's your girl I ain't here for no mix up Next thing, whining like a bad bean She looking in my eyes cause she wants it badly Summertime, sit that, sit back in my Air Force Ones yeah, you know I might dig that girl yeah, 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 she be riding and groaning Till he said my bro just like, let me phone him up Yo, E, what you telling me? Got two bad bees named Melanie, Stephanie <laughs> That's net for me I am mean bad boy, come flex with me As she a step in the dance, what's so, so See, I'm like, excuse me, what? You might know me, it's high for me you know my team, but you're walking past Like you don't even know me I know you're feeling shy When you see stars that way Baby, you're so bright The only light I see But me have to make it quick And run away My dogs are rich from sunken place This year round, we can go someplace How far you say, just come my way Oh no, 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 no Take your way in a Mercos Boston 
protect your daughter. Are we gonna fall? Summertime, sit back, sit back in my Air Force Ones. You know I might dig that girl. Yeah, she be riding and groaning too. He said, My bro, just like, let me phone him up. Yo, E, what you telling me? Got two bad bees named Melanie, Stephanie. That's never for me. I am me, bad boy, come flex with me. Summertime, sit back, sit back in my Air Force Ones. You know I might dig that girl. Yeah, she be riding and groaning too. He said, My bro, just like, let me phone him up. Yo, E, what you telling me? Got two bad bees named Melanie, Stephanie. That's never for me. I am me, bad boy, come flex with me. If you're having credit problems, I feel bad for you, son. A thousand problems, but a car rank one. Wills for sure got me back in the car. Leasing with my credit, I was like, ah oh, man, forget it. Who would have thought I'd be accepted and more? But now I got the keys, I feel so pleased. All types of cars, Fiat's, Minis, Renaults, you know, boom, boom, let's go. Wills for sure, car leasing for every credit score. So, Nikki, you're a winner. Yeah, I've won three times now. Wow. Is that all through Lifestyle Bids, right? That's right. So first I won the Music Awards, which was in London. Then I won the Box and Match, which was in Cardiff. All I had to do was bid 83 pence for that. And then the Music Festival, which was in California. And the Private Jet? Yeah, maybe three made from that too. So I think it's definitely safe to say that Lifestyle Bids works for you. Oh yeah, Lifestyle Bids definitely works for me. So don't just dream it. Bid it. Go to LifestyleBids.com and let the adventure begin. Welcome to Lifestyle Bids, a luxury reverse auctions website where luxury is bought at a price you decide. Sign up free via your Facebook account or email. You receive 50 free bids as sign up bonus. How do these bids work? Log in to Lifestyle Bids and choose your auction room from sports to fashion to luxury cars. Pay an entry fee to start bidding in an auction room. You receive 10 free bids per day for the duration of the auctions. 7 days equals 70 bids. When the auction ends, the lowest unique bidder wins. What is lowest unique? Each bid you place will instantly be unique, not unique or lowest unique. The lowest unique is a bid which is lowest and a number that no one else has bid on. If your bid is lowest unique and someone else bids on the same number, it becomes not unique. Bid daily to improve your chances of becoming the lowest unique bidder. At the end of the auctions, the bidder with the lowest unique bid wins the lot. Winners are notified by email. Hello ladies and gentlemen, kings and queens, you're here with your beautiful Olivette Taco <laughs> on Diaspora with Voices Teen Talk. Thank you ever so much for tuning in. Thank you for, for those who've been my long life supporters, that's been dealing with me from day one. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm going to big up the manager for all his hard work and just sitting here on the computer on his phone. I'm actually monitoring. Yeah. yeah. And uh, <laughs> please um, give us a call and let's discuss on today's topic with young women in sports. I'm joined by the beautiful Aisha Kamara. Please call in on 0794614 Also, hook me up on Instagram, Olivetta Tucker. And also um, join my um, Instagram page as well, my other one, um, Esther Foundation, and support the cause. Yeah. And um, what's your um, Instagram page, Aisha? Um, my Instagram is Aisha underscore Mailer. So I-S-H-A underscore M-A-Y-L-A. You see? You see? She's got some... Good log on, log on, log on. Log on. So what is your plans moving forward? Now, obviously, that you've established your team, your business. What is, your t what, what is the next plan for your um, team? Um, I think it's just kind of progressing really from mm -hmm. 
um, registering first firstly this year with um, the Division Two, mm-hmm. which is good. So now kind of like the boys can participate in something that's official mm-hmm. and kind of progress. Hopefully, you know, Division Two, Division One, and then hopefully Premier League. So welcome, whoop, whoop, whoop. fellow team, welcome. Yeah, group, group, group. so it's been good, really. Oh, please, um, Simeon, please, 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 please go to World Cup. Was, <laughs> I, I know. you not good to work. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to be my account. They say Sierra Leone. It will happen. It will happen. I Please. think it's just. Uh, I see Nigeria. Mm. I see Nigeria. You lot are cooks anyway. And I see that Ghana. <laughs> the silly old oh, short, short, short Ghana fufu tick people. No, it's the Bank. It's the Bank. The Bank. But, the but I do see Sierra Leone spotted in other teams. Mm. When no, we all need to come together as one and play. I um, think it's it's possible. It is gonna. It will happen. I think it's just obviously it's mm-hmm. the infrastructure. You know, mm-hmm. you can't really develop a national team or any nas- any national team without mm-hmm. having the infrastructure. You know, it's twenty. What are we in twenty nineteen? And you know, kids are still playing in gravel fields. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. you can't expect. Mm-hmm. Okay, we have like the Kai Kamaras and the Crespos mm-hmm. right now, mm-hmm. but we have to look at the young kids that indeed, are like indeed, so indeed. engulfed in football, mm. but they can't, they will not ever be able to compete with kids from the UK, mm. even though they're probably more physically, um, fit, their, yeah. their physicality is better, their st- stamina is better, mm. their, like the strength is better, but they just don't have the... Skill. They have the skills. The equipment. They don't have the equipment. They don't have the, the infrastructure. They're playing on gravel. Mm. By the time they buy their boots, it's finished within one week because, you know, the gravel's eating, eating it up. So I have pl- some of my players, they'll, I say, why, why are you not training? Oh, manager, because my trainers is finished. And it's because of the, the facilities mm. that are there. Like in Freetown, the, the only facility that you can say that is there. They don't have the stadium. They have a stadium, but not everyone is privileged to go and play football in the stadium. So you have to make you have use to of... It. You have to pay for the stadium. Like, you have the stadium... I think the stadium and then you have... Um, Almost the stadium. Where, um, where SLF, SLFA is... Situ- uh, where is it? I can't remember. Do you know where that is? King Tom Academy. King Tom, yeah, yeah. So, but that that is... that. If you see King Tom Academy now, it's, you will not want to even play, play on that field. It's, oh, it's like... This is a, a field that Premier League teams play in, mm-hmm. and it's just like not in good standards whatsoever. Um, so it's the Serbian government, yeah, <laughs> please, and you, sure. yeah, please, and you know the wife, you like to be on board. Plus, tell your husband to go and fix the football pitch here, <laughs> so people can go play proper football. This is why we are not getting to Premier League or World Cup. Stop embarrassing us. I beg, do ya? <laughs> come on, let's focus. Yeah, on true. what's I think, happening. I think definitely, come on. I think definitely pour more money into like uh, yeah, sports. 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 Yeah. Not, it's not just football. I think just sports in general because you have mm. talented athletes. Mm. You've got you know people that like people that love to swim as well. So there's so many different swim, sports. So really, there's like people God. that do love to like. He's a mystery manager. <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, you really have really talented young like kids, and yeah, it's just. Yeah, not mom. I only like possum. It's just the um, <laughs> it's just really the facilities, really that it's not there. But in terms of the team, um, but yeah. even that running, simple running like Mo Farad, we've got someone like that in Sierra Leone. We have some people whack out all the way from Watalu, oh, all the way to Freetown. <laughs> it has happened, and it does happen. How why are we laughing? From east to west now they walk. So mm. please come mm. on. President, government, you say your government invest. Where's the sports welfare officers? But you know what it is as well. I think it's as much as it's the government as well. I think there is. There are, I think there are people that are in. Not to say. Not saying you have to. So you have to invest in your country mm-hmm. or you have to kind of support anyone mm-hmm. really. But it's just say you have people that are in are uh, that are in mm-hmm. a good position that can help somehow yeah. to a cause in Sierra Leone Indeed. like you're, like yourself you're doing your charity yeah. you're, you're you're taking it upon yourself to you know mm-hmm. do what you're doing and other people are taking it upon themselves to do what they're doing but it's very difficult in terms of I think me personally with my experience gaining support you know what I think you should do a GoFundMe page I actually do have a GoFundMe page yeah because even me I'm coming to start do GoFundMe or people well, the problem with the thing me. with the thing with it is that I, with my experience I it sometimes it's better for you to do how does it work 
it's like you just do the page and then you kind of write up mm. what your um what your goal like your what you're trying are. to do yeah. what your yeah. charity is about mm-hmm. um just say just list down mm-hmm. okay i need we need this 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 and this and then just kind of like put put it mm. out there but i think with my experience because i've been doing this for like five years it's it's I, I'd rather do it myself mm. and then people see the evidence of what indeed, I've done indeed, and then indeed. they will they will take it upon themselves to support yeah. but I've like you can ask people to help you and I've experienced it where people have promised like promised it oh yeah I'm gonna you know support you one time two time three time by the third time it's like I'm hearing the same thing but you're not really I'm gonna be honest with you mm. your your worst support is ever are your friends and family? Um, Same. I don't say anything. <laughs> your biggest supporters are people that are unknown. It's true. And the reason why I say that is because they're quick to talk, but when it's to dip inside their pocket, it's or when it's to help you, they ain't helping you. Me, I'm not scared. Me, I'm big thirty one. If you want to come shoot me, shoot me. Cause I'm where you don't pay my bills. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That is it. But it's not even like your you don't biggest have supporters to... are your unknown people. Even when you shine, your friends and certain members of your family they ain't on your back. They're mm, not supporting mm. you. They watch you. They when when you get there, nah, 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 nah. no, you weren't there. <laughs> well, now you want it's to come and in my shine. It's a true no, thing. sorry, the man the doors that I was knocking, <coughs> the people that I was talking, it would be one person <laughs> that will say, "Oh, you know what? Let me give you that chance." Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah, it's true. So don't give up. I'm continue. laughing because it's just everything you're saying is just like I resonate with it but because continue to knock on the it's door. So, it it's so it's so diff. It's like. I always say it's frustrating because I don't mind doing it myself. Mm-hmm. I don't mind mm-hmm. using my own personal money yeah. or whatever because now it's kind of m- the consistency I've had. Yeah. And rather than waiting for people to help, I've done it myself mm-hmm. consistently. And regardless if it's taken five years or it would have taken ten years, it, I will still get to the like mm-hmm. to the place where I need to get to. So now it's like okay, we've done five years. We'll take what, what's our goal now for the next five years, mm-hmm. and I'll continue to do it my way type of thing because at the end of the day it's, it's like the less people they people always say is it's better to do something as a group rather than as one you'll get further as a group no but i'd rather i, I don't believe in that i don't mind i don't mind people kind of joining in in the sense but you when you have your goals. your goals and your yeah. vision it's very difficult for you to kind of yeah. you know for other people to kind of bring it in because my kind of yeah because i understand because even my trade i'm not doing it with people i did it myself mm. you know i'm saying that you know i came up with it i'm doing it myself people want to add their two pence mm. when they have friends you don't want to add your two pence mm. as what well, they'll say i would take off i would leave off yeah but we're not we're not forcing it's like it's a thing we're not forcing even if it's a little thing as like sharing something information but we're not forcing it's not a thing where people are uh, someone is forcing someone to support but it's it's worse when someone makes a a promise to support and then then, it's not even like you're not you're not you're not breaking my heart or you're not breaking the other person's heart that's doing something it's it's like (laughs) you're it's you're trying to you're supporting something that is a good cause you're supporting these kids that are trying to develop so but i think what it is as well with like Sierra Leone, they have this parable where they say promise not it so mm. it's like you shouldn't promise someone in Sierra Leone mm. because it's a debt you know them already mm. if you tell them <laughs> this and this and it and you bring the, 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 you know what it is there, there, my con- and then you do you don't uh, you know what it is my, like, my conscience is so clear it's like if you've messaged if you've messaged me and you say you're going to support all I'll say is okay you can message me again okay you message me again so <laughs> and it, when it when it comes to when you have to message me again it's not i'm not embar- i'm not embarrassed because i'm i'm still con- i'm still like you will still see me you'll still see me post pictures of the team you'll see you still see me say mm-hmm. oh the team is now division two mm-hmm. you still see me say oh the team has won division two but, but then you'll come and message me oh i'm going to support i'm going to send you but i've carried on moving forward yeah. like you yeah. can join the race when you're ready yeah. but i can't stand still for you know so i think it's in a general kind of yeah. you know thing if you're doing something that's for yourself you have to push for yourself you got yeah. you have to invest in, in what you're going to do you yeah. can't rely on, on like others. charity mm. even with the boys in Sierra Leone, i tell them you can't you cannot rely on someone to be a charity to you yeah. Indeed. because Indeed. I, I could turn around and tell them look guys i'm tired I have my own responsibilities in the UK. Mm, mm, I'm using too much of my, of mm, my money, mm, spending this, this, and this. Mm, I'm I'm coming back enough. 
So what are you gonna what are you gonna do now that I'm I said I'm taking I'm, I'm gonna die. I'm, <laughs> no, but you know what it is. I've told them like from the beginning that they have to contribute like one thousand a week to in training. Okay, okay. So if thirty of you are training and you're mm. contributing one thousand a week, that's thirty thousand yeah. times that by a month. If if you need something that's urgent and you can't get hold of me immediately, so you can't send yeah. money straight away. Mm. You have something. I don't. One thousand is nothing to me. Like yeah. I need to it's take your money. The it? coach doesn't need to take your money, but it's for your own personal use. Imagine to say it. that this is my team as well. Mm. It's not my team. It's your team. Mm, so they had a, an issue where obviously I, sh- I ship footballs and obviously the footballs have kind of like finished in a, in a, a sense so they're now calling me to say oh manager we need you to send <laughs> we need you to send us money so we can buy football football in Syria is like the Pele balls are like yeah, yeah, 200,000 okay. 20 pounds I'm not buying I'm not sending 20 pounds for one ball yeah indeed it's not yeah, you have to buy a minimum so. two balls which is like 400,000 it's not happening okay. when I can buy footballs here which are decent for a good price and then and then ship them to Sierra Leone mm, indeed, indeed. you know so when I told them I said you guys contribute 1,000 a week mm. I've told them consistently every year I go they don't want to listen to me so now they have this issue that there's no balls and now they're messaging me say manager oh, would you send us money girl? I said I'm not it's impossible I'm not sending you no money because number one I told you P I told you guys this is a life lesson save even if it's like a 1p you don't know when now all of you guys are bluffing because you now have nice training kit you have equipment you have this you're showing off to your friends now you have an issue where you don't have football it's not embarrassing to me because i have my own time it's embarrassing to yourselves because you can't bluff now to say oh you know we're this team that has everything you're struggling with football but when i told you guys to contribute one thousand a week you guys didn't want to listen to me now you're so if i was not around what would happen? Mm. What would you guys mm. actually do? Are you telling me that if are you telling me you can only survive with me around? It's impossible. You guys have to find figure out a way to survive with the balls that you have until I ship the balls that I've got here. Mm. Because you can't keep, you know, giving them, giving, giving and they take and they take they they will never they will never learn how to survive. Indeed. At all, like it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna work. You're not really teaching them anything about responsibility or anything. They just think, oh, you know, Aisha has money or DJ Little has money, and he will just send it whenever you know when we don't have something. No, if we're not around, how? Like, if I'm not around, is everything gonna stop? Okay, it's true. You know, yeah. so they have to kind of grow that mentality that how can we survive? Because it's not. This is not benefit. I'm not making any money from this doesn't benefit me whatsoever i can use my money to do something else it's benefiting you guys because it's putting you guys in a platform that someone can a scout can come from europe and scout you and say oh we like this boy let's take him here let him go and try it's for your future so you should be more invested in it than Mm -hmm. me so do you provide any programs of obviously it's not just a practical but also the theoretical program of kind of like having that business mind of understanding that the reasons of why Mm. you should have like as what we will say emergency money yeah because obviously in UK mm-hmm. we work with that but people have savings emergency money in case mm. anything happens yeah. that is used so have that principle of you know what you don't need to have that emergency money yeah yeah in the, in the team like I think within the team setup, mm-hmm. I always try to encourage because they're all young boys anyway like it's like most of them are like all of them are in school I doubt mm. any of them are actually working a few of them might be working just to get gain a bit of money but majority of them are all in school, university, yeah. from primary school, whatever. But it's just the principle, like, we... I normally, like, take them to, like, like a tour every December for, like, a few days. So I took them to McKinney, took them to... Last year, went to Connor. But I always tell them that they have to pay a minimum... I give them a year notice. I say, you have to pay... Contribute a minimum of 50000 okay, to your transport. And I give them a year. Right. Some of them, majority of them are able to save, you know, they'll give 2000 to the coach, coach, hold this for me, then they'll g- gather another 5000 give it until they measure, and until they gather their 50000 Some of them just don't have that kind of capability to, mm-hmm. to sacrifice. And then they'll wait for me to now come, they'll be silent, like when we're about to travel, they'll be silent until the time we're about to travel and I'll say, you can't go because, number one, you didn't communicate with the coach. You didn't communicate with myself to say, uh, or manage. I'm, 
I'm not gonna make you suffer to say, oh, um, you know, you can't come because of fifty. I know fifty thousand. I know like situations in Sierra Leone is difficult mm -hmm. for these young kids with like they don't have. There's really no jobs out there in course, Sierra Leone at indeed, all. Indeed. Like, if there's no football, kids are idle in Sierra Leone. It's crazy. Indeed, indeed, indeed. The it's idleness in Sierra Leone is high. It's mm -hmm. ridiculous. So it's like, I'm not going to make you suffer to say, you know, you can't come because of 50,000. Even if it's 10,000, is the thought process that you were able to at least sacrifice 1,000 a week. And then, you know, even the 1,000 that I mentioned, by the time I would have come back in December, that would have been your 50,000. True. Technically, in a way, that would have been your fifty thousand. You only fifty days, fifty weeks. Maybe. Exactly, that would technically have been your fifty thousand. But they don't see that the, the small little savings that you do can amount to something bigger. Mm. But it's just yeah, we just have to kind of obviously keep going. They always tell me, oh, don't you have to keep going with the boys? You know, you don't give up on them and things like that. Yeah, so, and I think <laughs> studio question. Can we ask yeah. a studio question? Yes. What is it? Um. So the studio question would be um. <laughs> Do you, um, how do you value your players being in education and then also maintaining their position in the team yeah. if somebody is not in education? It's, that's a nice, it's actually a good question because we have yeah. like something, we have players for, so I'll talk about the vi the vision, the, the senior players. Yeah. Yeah. So we have, um, we have to register the players and we're looking at players that we want to register within the team. So we have a lot of, I think a few, uh, quite a, a lot of them are at university at the moment. Okay. So it's that, it's, it's the commitment. So I was speaking to, I think the coach today actually, and we we're talking about one of our players and, because currently right now, I think they're off at university. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's obviously coming to training and I'm like... I think they got the results today though. Okay, yeah. So I'm like, yeah, he's a good player. He deserves, you know, when he's off uni, he's always at training. Um, but he, I think he's second year going into third year. But once uni opens again, he would have to go. I think it's for a big college. I don't know which university he's at. No, but Nigella is it that? Nigella. Nigella University. In, yeah, in Nigella. In yeah. So I don't know which one, but it's I think the time commitment. So I said to the coach today, I said his education is more more important. So let him continue, but he he always he will always have a space in the team. Because those are the ones that like have been there, like mm -hmm. that when they're off, they come directly to train with the team and everything. So I was like, he has to. There's no way he can stop university, because right now there's no income from the football. There's no sponsorship, like mm -hmm. there's no heavy sponsorship in the actual football in Sierra Leone. So there's no point of him to leave university to say, come and, you know, play football. But I said, yeah, let him continue to play football. I mean. To, Finish your university, your education, because I did. I went to school. I played football hand in hand, mm -hmm. and that's what my dad's always taught me that. So you go to school, you play your football, but if one starts getting more than the other, you have to kind of bring it back and weigh it down. So mm -hmm. I think education number one is key in the, in, in in Africa. But education number one is key everywhere. It's pretty key everywhere. You know, you have to have yeah. you have to have something to fall back on. Yeah, that indeed. is the most important. Because you can you can injure yourself. You mm. know, you can break a leg. You can, I don't know, health complications. And if you don't have anything to fall back mm. on, it's. But so, I think also with football, it, it has its time frame, isn't it? It does have so its time frame. So football by the time you're thirty two. Thirty three. Yeah, that's not even thirty. So <laughs> some of my football is like twenty eight. So really, like, or even you know. The ma imagine training all those years and your body just begins to like but yeah in Sierra Leone you have to you know a lot of the boys anyway some of them you, I don't see, we don't see them in training for weeks because of school but they tell us you know oh Kochi, Aisha you know I haven't been to training for this amount, amount of time because of school ah. you know and other things so I actually done well but yeah education is I think he first is that's more important than the football for me in terms yeah. of you know. Well, it's good that you've actually made sure that you know you've actually identified that because mm. I do feel education is the key. But then that's actually a all of a different topic about the education system in Sierra Leone because my the next topic will really be is it actually working? Is it actually benefiting the children? It's not, I, we, we, we won't go into that because that's, say it's, how, it's not. That's, Sierra a, Leone, that's a whole other different Sierra topic. Leone, oh my gosh, Sierra within Leone. its whole self. But um, just to finish off, what would you like to say? Have you got anybody that you'd like to shout out to? Anything else? Any words of encouragement that you'd like to say to anybody? Um, I would just really like to, you know, just to shout out to every Sierra Leonean, really. Um, I think there's there's opportunities in Sierra Leone for mm -hmm. you to kind of 
do go and do something that's good in Sierra Leone you know Mm -hmm. there is a lot of kids out there that are looking for role models you know that Mm -hmm. to look up to and things like that um I think don't be scared of you know sometimes people say oh you know (laughs) repeat again okay refresh (laughs) um well, let me just get my yeah, my thoughts kids. going again. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. Ask a question. Okay. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Angela, so, um, just to round out, what would you like to say to anybody? Would you like to give up a shout out? What was your words of encouragement to all the young people that are watching? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I just want to say really, um, just give a shout out to all like the Sierra Leoneans, all mm-hmm. the young Sierra Leoneans, all the Sierra Leoneans. I think, excuse me, it's... um. It's definitely a good... It's fulfilling to know that you can go to Sierra Leone and do something good out there. Mm-hmm. Um, there's so many opportunities. There's so many things that you could kind of think of, think of doing that you could go out there and do. Um, I think don't be scared of, you know, trying something out. Even mm-hmm. if it's obviously initially by yourself. Mm-hmm. Start Always start small and then you can... It will always progress. Every, every small steps, add, you know, you're, you're building a kind of like a tower. Eventually you'll get to where you need to go. Um, I think in terms of like in Sierra Leone per se, I think definitely just like um, more towards the the government and Mm -hmm. towards SLFA um, to definitely kind of try to promote. They are doing a good job, a great job at the moment, Mm -hmm. kind of bringing back football in the country, but obviously just try to do more in terms of infrastructure because you have all these kids now playing football, but the infrastructure is still at a standstill, you know. Um, I think just get that to a level where we're playing standard football that is at the same level as the world like you know it doesn't have to be as you know super you know like like england and things like that but the minimum we should have that and i think definitely the people exactly the basics you know like like we've passed the stage of playing football on gravel Mm -hmm. like Mm -hmm. that blows my mind that we're still playing football on gravel um so i think that's like infrastructure and things like that and yeah just keep supporting those that are doing something you know that are trying to help out the country all right thank you ever so much for coming thank you it was a pleasure having you and my word of advice to everybody go and get a sport whether it's jogging whether it's gym <laughs> whether it's walking get up and stop sitting there eating your cassava leaves no, cassava leaf your potato the one. leaves your fufu your crab crab your everything full of palm oil we love palm oil and 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 oil don't look at because get i'm a up. woman i don't eat all let's these, get know. up and but, exercise. Can't you see? Manager has lost weight jogging. Me too. I've lost <laughs> weight. I'm jogging and gym. <laughs> yeah. He's he's running for um, the prostate cancer um, charity. That's amazing. So that's why he's been doing a lot of exercises. So congratulations no, be, to you. Mm. But also, um, yeah, just um, follow Aisha on Instagram and just keep tuned in. Thank you ever so much for everyone that's tuned in. God bless and take care. And see you next week.
If you're having credit problems, I feel bad for you, son. A thousand problems, but a car ain't one. Wills for sure got me back in the car. Lisa, with my credit, I was like, nah, man, forget it. Who would have thought I'd be accepted and more? But now I got the keys, I feel so pleased. All types of cars, Fiat's, Minis, Renaults, you know, boom, boom, let's go. Wills for sure, car leasing for every credit score. The baby where they woke me at Where don't make me feel it say. I'm not man enough I no get nothing for offer So all me party when look down on me Where don't make me feel it say. My life no go become something yeah. And they walked away All the people will promise for help me They say come office today Tomorrow next tomorrow The story not just the same But I refuse to give up I kept on hoping, I kept believing, now everything don't change. Samadol, lots of food for kids, alcohol, lots of juice, dicey pan, half a sleep, no jamba no fit you, no smoker. Exclusive from the zoo with the tenants.